One of the most visual and exciting parts of the show is the engineering phase. And here we're hanging out with Chris Hoy, the senior engineer on the show. Chris, we've done a lot of work with you. We filmed you day in and day out. We know what you do, but what are viewers going to see on the show? Hopefully the viewers see the entire engineering process. My mom is still calling me, asking me what exactly it is I do. <laughs> um, and the truth of the matter is, each time I give her a different answer. So hopefully, the viewers will get a chance to see everything that we do, from CAD to prototyping to um, factory samples, see the whole process. It's been cool to film, because you know, just in television production, we don't get to see a lot of the ins and outs that engineers do. Didn't know what CAD was coming in, and to see a, an invention come in on a cocktail napkin, get designed, and then come onto your computer screen, and it jumps into reality when it starts being prototyped, is, is really exciting, and that's really it's emotional for a lot of the inventors. Why is it so emotional when the inventor sees that prototype for the first time? It's really weird. It's as emotional at times for us as it is for them. Um, we're just as excited to see that tangible thing. Seeing something on a computer screen is one, one thing, but actually being able to interact with it is such a crucial element to the design process, mm -hmm. to be able to touch something. And uh, it kind of makes it real. Mm -hmm. And uh, for sure, when the, when the inventors get to see their prototype that first time and they actually get to pick it up, play with it, do whatever they do to it, really cool, mm -hmm. really cool. It's as uh, exciting a time for us as it is for them. We're hoping, we're waiting with bated breath, hoping that they're gonna dig what we've done, you know? So. It's been fun to film and hopefully that'll come across. I know it does um, come across when you unveil a lot of the prototypes or the, the factory samples. It's emotional for both sides and we know that. But for you, why is it you put in a lot of hours? Engineering is physically the most demanding phase of product development, especially on the show for inventions. But why, what gets you jazzed about it? What gets me jazzed? Good question, huh? Um, it's hard, right. to it's hard to nail it down to just mm -hmm. one thing. Um, most definitely, the inventor's interaction with us mm -hmm. is crucial. They had a great idea to begin with. They've thought about this idea for a long time. Um, so interacting with the inventor, super important. Another thing that's incredibly important is taking a design that in two dimensions looks awesome, adding our twist, adding that third dimension to it, um, taking into account user interactions, taking in, into account manufacturability, taking into account um, all the different components that make up a product. Things that you don't normally think about when you buy a pencil. How do they make it? How do they make it for so cheap? How, things like that. Right. Okay, so you're not an actor, you're an engineer. Totally. <laughs> How has it been having cameras in your face, over your shoulder, when you're doing what you do? It's really, really weird. <laughs> really weird. It's absolutely surreal. And it was from the get-go, and to a certain degree it still is. Um, I'm getting a little more comfortable, but still not wholly comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's kind of neat though. The neat thing is that someone would actually be interested in what we do. And if there is just a small educational component to this, if there's someone that, that's where my history is, is in education. And if someone watching this sees something, sees us doing CAD and says, wow, that might be kind of a cool direction to pursue or making a prototype or figuring out the manufacturability of something. If someone sees that and even just thinks about engineering for two minutes, it would be wholly worth it, 100%. We said cool. Engineering's definitely been a, a cool phase to, to film and be produced for the show. And that's what we're hoping, because engineering <laughs> gets such a bad rap, man. If you'd say you're an engineer, people immediately think you're the nerd with horn rim glasses and the pocket protector, I was right? Say, right. <laughs> but it's not. It can yeah. be an absolutely amazing thing. You, yeah, it's hard in school. You got to learn some things, but then when you put them into action, that's where it gets good. That's the fun part. And it's been fun. Definitely cool. Let's check out some of Chris and his team in action. This project is exactly what the show was was designed to do you know to help these people and so it's hard not to become fully engaged in it
It really doesn't matter what something looks like if it doesn't function. Looks are important, but it's gotta work. Whoa, it didn't break. That completely should have broke.